All right, so here I am back at it again, just um, working on the GSXS 1000 one more time. Um, I want to take the bike for a spin tomorrow since I already installed the auto tune, the time, the power commander, and the pod 300. So I want to I want take it for a spin so I can have the auto tuning learning mode and and doing the 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 adjustment or suggesting the adjustments based on the the AFR tables that I that I created. Uh, or targets that I set um, in the auto tune. So what I'm going to do is, before I do all that, I would love to have my um, TPS calibrated. So I'm just gonna do that, and I'm gonna do it in two ways. So um, I have a, a pre 2018 um, GSXS 1000. The reason why I'm mentioning that is because I think w I think with the introduction of the Z model. Um, they, they no longer um, display the, the calibration of the TPS on the dashboard. So you have to do it with a, a different way with a voltmeter. But um, you can also do it with a voltmeter on mine. Um, but I have it on the dashboard, which is pretty close to what it's supposed to be. So what I'm going to do is to do it with the dealer mode and the dashboard. And then I'm just going to confirm my numbers with the voltage I'm getting when I open the throttle with the settings by by monitoring the the voltage on with the power commander so i'm gonna do it both ways just to take a look at it and see how if they differ or how close it is when you put it in the middle um in the middle line when you look at it at the dashboard so i'm gonna go ahead and do it all right so first thing you're gonna do is to find your diagnostic um, port which is this one right here in case you haven't seen it before uh it's capped with this so i just removed it and oh and i just also dropped it so you like i said before if you are uh, pre-2018 um or like z model you can use this board and you can do this so i'm gonna take this uh, piece of wire that i just bent and then i made it in a u so i can get those two um i guess legs exposed so what i'm going to do is just insert one on this end in here Okay, so I just got the first leg in. So I'm just I'm just going to put the second one. Just bring the camera here. Probably... Um, so something I wanted to mention about this video is that I'm I'm going to be adjusting my throttle. Um, and I noticed that um, I, I have seen before that my throttle was on the lower end of the calibration. So the C showing on the dash when when you you put your bike in in dealer mode it was not on the middle but when i when i turned on my computer or my my, my motorcycle after being in, in dealer mode i realized that the the line was in the middle um but then when i when i connected my power commander uh it went down to the bottom my guess is that um the the calibration on that uh, tps is like very minimal in order to get out of spec so if it's not like fully tightened or the, the bolt i mean um you might be you might be getting some variation so make sure that yours is still you know calibrated and even if you calibrate it i mean it's super easy just to check once in a while um just to see that it hasn't moved um, but it was a surprise for me that um, my moving the bike around Maybe my TPS um, bolt was not completely tightened. Maybe it was just allowing the TPS to move slightly where where the TPS readings were actually showing off in my dash. So just keep an eye on that. Um, I, w I was surprised to see that variation um, in a small amount of time frame. So I guess um, if you have seen that before, um, let me know what you think about it. I mean, was it, am I correct thinking that maybe the TPS was like maybe slightly loose or maybe the fact that I, that I connected my power commander was sending a different reading and maybe that's why it was showing that it was at the bottom before I calibrated it. So just let me know your thoughts and see how, how if you have experienced that before. All right, so to my surprise, when I put the dealer mode, with, when I put the bike on dealer mode, um, I didn't realize that it was already being um, calibrated. So, which is which is why you have the line in the middle. Um, if the if the voltage reading that's getting you know the bike on on like this right now, it will be at the bottom. Then I mean I'm sorry, the voltage reading will be low. It will be at the bottom that line at the bottom of the C. And then if the voltage uh, reading will be higher than 11 between the range of 11.1 and 11.4, .1 11 
then it will be at and it will be like you know higher showing closer to um, the sea so in case you're wondering the bolt you have to uh, adjust on the TPS is this is the one you're going to be um, this um, so let me see make sure it's focus that's the bolt you have to uh, mess with and then um, and then you'll be moving this one right here not this one but this one so I don't have to but I'm what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in my power commander to my computer so I can get so I can see the reading and I'm gonna prove to you guys whether or not having the line in the middle means that your voltage reading is right based on the specifications um, um, from Suzuki. All right, so I just um, opened the power commander in, in the computer and while I'm doing that, I'm looking for the port to connect to the power commander with the supply cable. So I now have the cable connected and now I'm going back to my computer. Don't make fun of my computer. This is my wife's computer, which I'm very gra grateful that she's letting me use for my bike. Um, I'm hooking up the USB to the computer. Now I'm gonna open up the power commander and you, as you can see it's here and it's recognizing that it received the map and there's a one device connected. Um, so now I'm going to, oh, I can see my reflection. Hey, I can, I'm, I'm going to calibrate and then calibrate. I'm just going to do throttle position. And now you can see, this is pretty much what we're looking for. It's a, it's saying the minimum voltage is, um, 1.1 and based on what I read, um, you want your voltage when it's closed between 1.1 in between 110 and 114 and and I think wide open is like 4.4 4.5 so now I'm just gonna um, I'm just gonna put the ignition on the bike okay so you can tell the sensor voltage is 1.0 and I think it's looking for 1.1 to 1.10 so let me, and if I were to, I'm gonna open up the, I'm gonna open up the, yeah. So it's 4.5 wide open, and I, you can tell that I'm wide open throttle, and I'm gonna close the throttle. It's at zero, and it's recognizing this at 1.09, which is pretty close to 1.1. So I don't know. I think I'm not that concerned about it, and I'm gonna take a look. Oh, but now you can see. My throttle is showing that it's low, it is not calibrated. So, I don't know why that happened. I know I heard in the past, this is actually pretty um, sensitive. So I'm just gonna go ahead and, and pull my torque and I'm just gonna play with that to see if I can bring it to the middle. All right, so I just move this plug out of the way. And in case you haven't seen it before, you need a security torque, which is this one, this is a TUI, a T25 which the hole in the middle so it's gonna be allowing you to get in so let me see if I can focus in here okay. so now I'm just gonna undo the bolt okay so now just a little bit because this is very sensitive so I'm just gonna go ahead turn the bike on, on again Oop. let me connect the, the TPS, the secondary one. Connect the plug, perfect. So now, of course I have an error. Let me just um, clear the error pretty quick. All right, so I'm just gonna slowly move the TPS while keeping an eye on this. And that, that error is gonna go away, this is just, okay. So you can see now it's in the middle. What I just, I just, barely 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 touched um, and I'm and I'm also monitoring the well, yeah it was almost nothing so I'm just gonna move it a little bit more I'm actually pushing down in case you're wondering I'm actually applying pressure in here down instead of upwards and that's how it's coming up a little bit so I just applied a little bit a little bit more pressure and it's still showing in the middle and I can see as you before it was like one point. Oops, computer went down. Before it was one point. Uh, I want to say it was like one point um, oh nine, 
and now I'm just gonna check my wide open throttle 4.49 which is great and then closed 1.09 again so it's showing now it now it's show it was showing a little bit high um, so let me I don't know if I want to go maybe like 1.1 1 .1. perfect okay so I have 1.15 here now and now 113 perfect so now if I look again at the in here you see it's right in the middle and I'm getting a voltage of 1.13 and I'm gonna open the throttle again that's 100% and I'm getting 4.5 so it should be within spec okay I just open it again I'm gonna confirm my numbers are still okay and remember that code is gonna go away that's just because I uh, turn the ignition on without my secondary TPS on so now it's reading 1.12 and that's all happening because I'm not still tighten the the sensor so now I'm just gonna go again one more time I'm just gonna remove this one before I do that I'm just gonna turn off the ignition I'm gonna remove this plug okay which I just did just so I can I'm not damaging any cables or pinching any cables or anything I'm gonna be very careful because this is very sensitive as you can tell so I'm just gonna go ahead and tighten it up there's chances that this is actually creating some movement because I'm, I'm not applying any pressure on the TPS and you might want to do that I don't have a torque wrench uh, small enough to ensure my that I mean it's um, not small enough I'm sorry it's like with the readings or the torque um, measurements are low enough that I can that I can do that okay so I think that the, I'm a I'm a double check I'll turn on the computer or not the computer I'm sorry the, the bike I'll put the ignition on I'm gonna give it a last tight okay now I'm just gonna go ahead put the this one back I don't think you have to remove this one but I just don't want to be like um, playing too much with the cables or moving the cables in a manner that I'm breaking the cable okay. just now connect it I'm gonna check my work turn it on again okay right in the middle the other code went away that's what I was looking for and now I can see that I have a reading of 1.12 I'm a 0% throttle I'm gonna go 100% and I'm getting a reading of 4.5 and it's saying the maximum voltage is 4.4. So I think it's right on the money. So I'm just gonna okay it. I'm gonna open it again. I'm gonna go to calibration or calibrate. Calibrate and throttle position. And I'm still getting the same readings. And I'm a 0%, 100%, 4.52, 1 and 1.12, which is within spec. All right, so I um, ended up calibrating the TPS and it all worked out. The one thing I didn't show in the video that I did on the Power Commander was actually up the highest voltage value to. 4.5 which is what it's within spec based on, on on Suzuki and that's the reading I was getting um that I that I was that I managed to calibrate when I was opening the throttle completely I was sending 4.5 as a as voltage and that's that's within spec um so I matched the same to represent um maximum voltage uh, from the from the from the bike and then that the power commander has the same value so Anyway, I, I put, the, put the bike back together, uh, all the plastic and everything, and I took it for a spin. Um, so far, so good. I'm, I'm expecting to still, you know, take it for an actual spin um, tomorrow so I can get, you know, the auto tune starting, starting to learn, like I mentioned before. So if you guys have any questions, anything that you might want to know, um, I'll, I, I guess I'll, I'll report my reactions and see how the bike is working um, after installing all of that. I'm really anticipating to see all the AFRs uh, real time on, on the Power Commander. That'll be great. Or on the Pod 300. And that'll be super cool to see so I can monitor and 
yeah if you if you want to know or anything that i did did not make sense or there's anything that you have may may have questions on or or even the tools i'm just going to be posting a link of the 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 screwdriver and the bits that i bought from amazon which were you know pretty inexpensive just so i can get that security torque plus a bunch of other bits that i that i got as well so just let me know if you have any questions hopefully you enjoy it and there's this has been you know value for you and and if there's anything they want might want to see in the future just let me know thank you bye, -bye.